is gentleman ASMR. Uh, adjust my mic for the audio. Yay! Isn't that neat? Um, oh, I'll show you what it looks like because I think it looks pretty schnazzy. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. So I'm doing a cranial nerve examination, as I'm sure you know by the title. Um, just a little info about what's going to happen. Uh, I've never done this before, um, but I do find that when I do watch them, I would like it if I knew what they were going to write down about me so I could kind of get in that headspace. So um, how about this? Pretend now that your name is Jordan Frazier and you've come to me because you have a twitchy eye and your primary care physician or PCP has sent you to me who is a doctor of nerves, a nerve doc, a face nerve doctor. I don't know what I'm gonna, yeah, that's it. They have that specialty, right? Anyone in med school? Um, okay, so we'll get it started. I'm gonna try to do it in one shot. I doubt I will be able to, so please excuse the, um, the transitions. So, without further, without further ado, here is the cranial nerve examination. I hope you're relaxing. Hi, I'm Dr. Jones. Uh, looks like our reception staff is pretty busy right now, so I'll be taking a brief history for you. What's your name? And date of birth. Well, you certainly don't look it. Uh, so it looks like your chief complaint is, um, it says your primary care physician says that you have a twitchy eye. And uh, that's not the medical term for it, but, you know, um, involuntary eye movement there. And uh, seems like a pretty normal thing, but he said it's been going on for a while. How long has it been going on? Around three weeks, he said? Okay. That is abnormal. Um, are you on any medications? Dosage? Ah, it's actually okay. Um, doesn't look like that is a medication that uh, normally has involuntary eye movement as a side effect, so we're going to rule that out. Okay. So, uh, one last question. How much sleep do you get a night? Whoa. Okay. Well, um, I'm sure you know this, but uh, most sleep specialists are saying seven to nine hours a night, so uh, obviously nowhere near that, and that's understandable. I know you probably have a busy schedule, but if you can shoot towards that, that's probably best. All right, we're gonna take a look inside of your eye there, so if you could just cover up one of your eyes. Okay, very good. Let's shine a light, sorry if it's too bright there. Okay, there's some redness, a little swelling. And the other one. Alright, about the same on this side. Okay, well, nothing too out of the ordinary there. Okay, now I'm just going to have you follow the light um, with with both eyes and just I'm gonna start down here we're gonna kind of across your visual field here just look directly at this light good that's right mm-hmm Looks pretty good there. No problems. Now we're going to do a brief eye exam here. Look at this sentence. Tell me if you can read it. Not too much trouble. Okay, that's good. Another test. 
test for. Now another test is to check your peripheral vision. And uh, I'm going to wag my fingers like, like so. I'm going to hold them this way. I want you to stare directly at the center of my head there. And I'm going to wiggle one of my fingers. And I want you to tell me which one. Okay, no problem there. Uh, now I'm going to lean in close and whisper some numbers to your ear, okay, on both sides, two times. And I just want you to repeat the numbers that you hear, okay? Three, eight, five, four. Okay, good. Four. Next, we're going to test your olfactory senses. And uh, so I find that sometimes it's hard to distinguish smells. So really all I need you to do is uh, say whether this scent is pleasant or unpleasant. Because if those two get swapped, that can be a sign of some neurological dysfunction. So this first one is uh, saturated in a scent that is either unpleasant or pleasant. So tell me what you think. Unpleasant, that's right. That's good, I could tell from here. And now this next one, I want you to tell me whether it's pleasant or unpleasant. Pleasant, okay, that's good. That's roses, so it should be. And last one. Pleasant or unpleasant? Let's see. And um, just a couple more here. Um, first, I'm going to have you keep your head completely still. And I'm going to try to move it one way or the other. And I just want you to um, resist against me moving your, your head just to test the muscles here in your neck. Resist. Okay. And on the other side, stop me from moving you. Good. Now I want you to turn your head to this side, and I'm going to try to push it back. And I want you to try to resist. Good. And the other. smile for me. Oh, that's right. And frown. Good. Now raise your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And furrow them like this. Excellent. All right, and the last thing is a completely separate Q-tip here. Uh, I'm just going to gently touch you at different points of your face. I want you to tell me uh, when I'm touching. suggest that you just get more sleep. Um, I mean, 
the amount of sleep you're getting now is, is not enough. And uh, I think that that the twitching is just secondary to you not sleeping enough. And so uh, I'm going to say that you should go to bed and, and get up at about the same time every day, give or take an hour. Um, that'll help your circadian rhythm. And uh, it'll just help you, uh, your overall body function, and then your eye will probably stop twitching. So I know that's, uh, that's a bummer. You might want to go out on the weekends, but uh, I'm going to suggest that you at least try most days to keep it about the same time. And uh, if you can, try not to take naps during the day, or if you do, make them very quick. Um, okay, I'm glad you could come in. I hope that helps, and happy relaxing. redness probably the result of that uh, small amount of hours of sleep there hover your right eye guys the math is confusing the the switchy switchy is confusing I'm very I'm very flustered <laughs> Right now we're going to do the eye shiny light part. That's not what they should call it. That's not a thing. One, two, buckle your shoe. Yeah, some of those weren't actually numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard not to do my eyeballs at the same time. Um, that's not going in the thing. That's going to make the twitching go away, and it's also going to uh, just make you less lethargic during the day and, uh, and probably less cranky. <laughs> not that you were anything but pleasant here, but I don't know why I said that. That's not going in.